even have his little weird Englishman's wart up there. I always thought that was kind of weird. Hey! Hey, what's up you guys, Shortness Prime here doing another SH Figure Arts figure review from Bandai Tamashi Nations on the Sailor Moon TV show's Sailor Mars. This is the only Sailor Moon figure that I wanted to pick up and man, I'm glad that I got her. This is actually, in my opinion, the most attractive Sailor Scout. So that's really the main reason why I picked her up. I watched the show a little bit back in the day. Wasn't the biggest fan, but I am the biggest fan of this one right here. Not gonna get too crazy with the review over here. Uh, just so you know, if you want to pick this figure up, you can get it at Big Bad Toy Store. That's where I got it. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description. Description below. So to briefly go over the packaging, we have a picture of Sailor Mars right over here. 20th anniversary at the bottom left. We can get another picture of the figure. Then here's some pictures of the figure right over here. And then some of the different facial expressions she has. Figure right over there. Figure right up there at the top with some rainbowy colors going on. And then some warning stuff at the very bottom. So yeah, let's go ahead and crack this figure open. So here's Sailor Mars out of her packaging. And I think this is a great figure. I am really stoked to have this. I really like the design of Sailor Mars. Out of all the Sailor Scouts out there with all the poses and all the stuff they do, I just think her costume works the best. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I am a leg man, I always thought that was a cool look, so, you know, I kinda just like that. SH Figure Arts did a great job producing this figure, it was executed very, very well. Now, she comes with a lot of accessories, and I think she could've come with more. I'm not saying that they shortchanged us at all, we get a lot of interchangeable hands, uh, four interchangeable faces, and we get her a little fire card. Her getting this figure to stand is very difficult, it took me a long time to get her in this pose, I'm surprised she's still standing up the way she is. It's just very very tricky just due to the nature of it with the high heels and all you know all high heeled figures are difficult to stand But as you can see it is possible just with some patience So let's get a close look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure So first off we get this little instruction sheet and it shows all the interchangeable hands that she comes with And then she has a stand and everything else and it shows how to interchange the faces on here and a lot of Japanese writing Which I totally understand and she comes with her own display base looks very nice all the paint applications came out very clean And there's three ports here so you can stick the stand itself right into it and it has this little clamp right over here. I think on the Power Rangers ones it seemed like it was kind of loose. This is very, very nice. I like this a lot. It's very firm, but not too firm. And this has some articulation on it. You could rotate this side to side. The instructions show bend it right here. And then you want to grab it like this. You want to grab it from over here. And then it bends over here. And then one last one right there. And then you could just plug it into one of these three ports. These are plugged in. They're filled in. So you can just pop it out by pushing yeah, there it goes. It just rolls right out. And then you have another open port. And you can grab one of these little guys and just put it right back in there. As I mentioned earlier, she has four different interchangeable faces. And I think they all came out great. So you can also see the hair sculpted right over here. This looks very nice. I actually really like this paint detail that they added to it. It's very, very subtle, but there is purple in her black hair. And it's not only in this front piece over here, it's on the back. So you can see some of the purple right over here. And there's some more of the purple barely glimmering right there. And I think that's very cool. And these are actually articulated. You can move this outward and then move this outward, which is pretty ingenious. I think this is a great move. So you just peel this off right there. And you can see the gold tiara with the little red right there. And she has purple eyes. You can see the little red star earrings that look pretty good. She's got the little happy face. So this is the happy face one. And like all other SH Figure Arts figures, you just pop it off like that. And it's got these three holes and three pegs right there. And then we can just put on her serious stern face. And you can see she looks a little angry in her face and then her eyebrows are pointing downward and we just put this back right over there. So that's how that looks. And here's her fire soul face. You can see she's got her eyes closed and everything. I think this is her flame sniper face or the mid transformation face that she makes. So I think they did a great job on all four of these face sculpts. They look very, very nice. They all have that anime look, the tiny little nose, you know, and huge eyes and everything. So this is everything that you want from an anime facial expression over here. I just think they did a fantastic job. All the paint applications just came out very clean. And as for the rest of the figure, I think they also did a great job. I really like the shiny paint that we have on her bow. We have some shiny red paint and some shiny purple paint. So it looks very good. Then her shoulders over here have this pearlescent white. It's kind of hard to tell it's pearlescent white, but it is, and it's nicely sculpted. I did have the arm pop off on mine, but it just pops right back in. The whole figure seems to have this pearlescent white going on. It's not just a solid white. I really like that. It kind of has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I think that's very cool. Nice flesh tone also and a very very light flesh tone which is very very fitting for the cartoon. Nice elbow pads right over here and she does come with a ton of interchangeable hands. 
So here at Sailor Mars is 11 interchangeable hands. So for just the right hand, we get this gesture over here. This is a fire soul one right over here. And I really like how the two hands are just connected. They're molded together over here and you could plug them into both wrist pegs. For just the right hand, we have the spirit ward holding hand. And here's the spirit ward nicely sculpted. It has a little bit of a bend to it. And you can see the writings right there very clearly. It looks very nice. And you can just take this out if you want to. It looks pretty good. Then she comes with two fisted hands. Then she has these other two fisted hands that seem to be a little bit more relaxed. I see like the pinky sticking out over here. I think these are for the flame sniper. I'm not 100% sure. She comes with these two relaxed hands and then these wide open palm hands. And it's worth noting that all of these hands have that same pearlescent white that we see on the rest of the figure. So it matches perfectly. Now looking at the rest of the figure, I have to say I'm very pleased with this shiny red paint that we have here on her skirt. And I think it's sculpted very well too. Then we have this big bow right here on the back. And this is a, actually a flat red right here on this part. And very nice paint applications. Everything came out very clean. Again, I really like the skin tone for this figure. And I think the sculpting of the legs is very nice. She has these long, beautiful, slender legs. They just look great. And her high heels have some really nice shiny red paint as well. Very, very clean paint applications on here. I think it came out wonderfully. And she does have the white panties underneath here in case you wanted to know. Yep, they sculpted the butt cheeks. One thing that I thought was gonna be a big problem for me were these hinges right over here for the back of the knees, but it really doesn't bother me so much. As soon as you start bending it around, you know, it starts to look okay, you know, but it is there, but it's really not that bad. So like most figure arts figures, she has some pretty good articulation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, she does have the hair that sprawls outward, which is very nice. These two pieces move outward, and they also have a hinge in them so that you can move them up and down. So I think that's pretty cool, and it's like that on the other side, too. Her head cannot move up too much, which is a little bit of a bummer. It can just look forward, yeah, so it would be nice if she could look up more, but nope. She does look down very far, though, and she does rotate side to side, and and she does have a bit of a neck pivot. She has shoulders that move outward. Uh, you can rotate them and move them all the way up if you want to. She has a bit of a shoulder joint right over here so you can move that in and out and you can rotate this over here too. She also has a double jointed elbow. It bends in that far and she does have wrist articulation so it moves side to side and you can move it up and down. She has a decent diaphragm joint. It rotates side to side, crunches forward and back a little bit and you can get it to pivot. She also has a waist joint that moves side to side Side, and it crunches forward and back just a tiny bit and she doesn't really have the pivot at the waist just a tiny little bit You can move her legs all the way outward so that she could do the splits You can also move her legs all the way forward too and backwards So you could, she could do the splits that way too and luckily this is a, made out of a very pliable material at the skirt So it doesn't hinder any articulation. She has this hip joint right here that shifts up and down She has an upper thigh swivel. She has a double jointed knee or it's actually just this disc hinge kind of thing that bends in that far and she has ankles that move down up and you can rotate the ankle side to side and she has a beautiful ankle pivot man you just got love these legs though i think they just did a great job very very beautiful legs i'm a leg man what can i say i like it so ray stands at about five and a half inches and here she is compared to the sh figure arts mighty Morphin power rangers pink ranger figure and they stand at about the same height one thing i want to note is that i like the pink rangers knee joints more than the sailor mars knee joints over here you can see that you know of course i showed earlier that they're kind of rounded off in the back but these are very flush right over here and I think that works a little better. And here she is compared to another teenage character, the Marvel Legends Spider-Girl. And for good measure, here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, I really like this figure a lot. I spent a lot of time taking pictures of her, uh, posing it around. I really like the posability of it. I think they did a fantastic job. Again, I wish there was some more accessories, but at the same time, I do not feel shortchanged by Tomashi Nations at all. We get a lot of interchangeable hands and four different facial expressions and the stand and everything, but you know, of course, you can always ask for more. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Please check out ToyNewsEye.com for my photo gallery. And hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the like button if you like Sailor Mars. Leave a comment and subscribe. I will catch you guys later. Peace. So like most SH Figure Arts figures, this articula- uh, So like most Figure Arts- <laughs>